What's up YouTube? It's Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. Um, we're on the second day of a hunt right now and uh, John blew his chance at a buck yesterday uh, which did lead to some pretty awesome footage so if you haven't seen it yet you can click up there to watch that video. Um, I have a stomach flu right now and it's uh, pretty gnarly so we're um, taking it easy this morning and just doing a little bit of road hunting right now. John's done road taking pooping. a shit. Um, I'm trying to get hydrated. Um, hopefully that'll make me feel a little bit better. Ooh, deer pictures. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. All right, people, I'm gonna share some information with y'all. Don't know if you guys really wanna hear, but you kinda need to know it to fully understand what's going on here. But I have been sick sick with terrible uh, diarrhea. And uh, this morning I just had enough of it cause I just couldn't keep any fluids in my body. So we just ran to the store to get a bunch of drugs. He forced me to stop hunting. Yeah. I mean, it is my permit, so. Um, anyway, we went to the store. I got some, a bunch of drugs. I loaded myself up on drugs and, and we are heading in the right direction. I just managed to pee, which I haven't done in a while because my body's been, you know, getting rid of water the other way. So I'm really excited right now. Feel like we can actually get some hunting done so we're heading out to a little spot where uh we saw a giant potentially nearby we're gonna go see if uh he's still around all right so mark and i have a buck but we're not sure if he's worth going after we're gonna get some eyes on him Look easier than it's probably gonna be, but I never trust those staples. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we got a illegal buck coming this direction. So we're gonna do something really stupid. Um, these these deer are kind of like locked down in this little pond right here. Um, so we're gonna take the decoy. John's gonna hold it while walking, and uh, I'm gonna be right behind him, and we're just gonna try and walk right up to this deer. And fling an arrow. It's probably not gonna work. But if it does, it'd be freaking sweet. I think we, you want to go out right a little bit. Yeah. If this works, it's gonna be hilarious. I know. I'm a grunt. Uh -huh. 
things are going pretty smoothly in our approach, except for one little factor. There's a cow off to the right in the pond, and it's getting very nervous with us approaching it. And the deer are actually looking at the cow, not really paying attention to us. Eventually, the cow spooks enough that the deer freak out and take off. They ain't coming back. That sounds like a cow. Well, the reality was, it wasn't most likely to work. There probably wasn't gonna work. We might have worked without the cows. Yeah, honestly. We got like, pretty fucking close. Did we we got 100 yards, 120 tops. Hundred yards. No, so like where they were standing. Yeah, How we feeling? I'm uh feeling alive, man. Feeling <laughs> it doesn't look shallow. You know what? This might be uh, enough to keep most people out. Who knows? Guess we're gonna find out. I'm trying to get all the way back there. spotted a buck. It was coming this way. It was like coming at us pretty quickly. It, it went behind this brush and John got down in position right over here. And uh, it just kind of vanished. I, I think it's, I think it's like behind these palmettos right here. But Watch out for this stuff if you do draw them. I can see them really clearly right there. Maybe not. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have a brow on the other side. He's definitely not legal. I'm gonna grunt at him. <laughs> I think he might be deaf. Remember y'all, hydrate. It's the most important thing. Good morning, fellow Utopians. Hi. <laughs> We're going on an adventure today. Mark's gonna shoot the biggest buck of his life. You remember that time you almost killed a deer right here? Hey, he's not allowed to talk about that and he keeps bringing it up. going on. Yeah, that's a good camel too. It's a, it's a moose knuckle. Yeah. 
You never really expect these wires to be like as strong as they are, you know? Ha ha ha. Like a professional. Sneaking around. Keep on, keep on There's a little doe down that way, but we don't care about her. He's got no brow tines. He's possible 10 inches, I don't know, he's not. You wanna get closer and just find out? I'm gonna try to slowly, the closer he gets, the harder it gets to move. not legal at all but he's not far from the 10 inch he's probably nine he's doing it despite the fact that we have determined that this deer is not a legal buck I always try and take advantage of these moments to see what you can get away with in a spot and stock situation so we still try to get as close as we can and draw up and put a pin on him just to see if it would be possible to shoot him. See if he'll get closer before you do it. When you're done, a quick sudden movement is usually enough to send them packing without blowing and alerting the neighborhood. as a codfish, right? <laughs> Quick release. Oh, I could have smugged his ass. <laughs> oh, I mean, so good just being able to draw up, put a pin on him. <sighs> I don't care if he wasn't legal. That, uh, that had some excitement to the day. And it was fun. We really needed that. We had a slow morning there. But... Brings a little bit of hope back into the day. What's up, everybody? All right, so uh, it's like almost five o'clock now, and uh, it's hotter than freaking hell out here. But uh, and uh, so I'm gonna go into an area I've never been into uh, to explore, and hopefully find a buck on his feet um if i like the spot in here i'll probably find a place to hang out um and glass for the the evening and if not i got another spot that i want to go check out so uh let's go see what we can find oh and this is all you guys are going to get as far as filming it's all going to be on 360 gopro because john left me <laughs> Bad view. It'd be nice if that cow would shut up. These cows are gonna make stalking very difficult. I might just catch my breath for 15 minutes and go to a different spot. At least somebody is eating good. Little doe skull, judging by the teeth. Pretty young.
So as I was driving from one spot to another, I spotted some deer from the road. And to my surprise, there was like eight bucks and like 13 does hanging out in this one spot. So I don't have much daylight left and I'm trying to sneak in as quickly as I can, knowing that there's gonna be a lot of eyes paying attention to me. As I approach, I can see several deer on the other side of the canal, so I decide to check my wind and realize it's not blowing where I want it to. It's kind of blowing a little bit to the left uh, of where we're looking right now, um, but generally in the direction of the deer. So I knew that I was going to have to stay uh, to that side of the field and I wouldn't be able to go around the way that I would like to. As I get to the edge of this canal, I notice that there's an alert doe standing under that scrape tree staring at me. So I put the bow in front of my face to try and break up my silhouette a little bit. Luckily for me, a couple of does come and walk right past her, and that takes her attention off of me. She starts to follow the other two does, and as soon as she gets behind this brush, I start to move to my left where I have a lot more cover. As soon as I get up to the edge here, I see a good shooter buck standing under that same tree where that doe was looking at me. And it's inside of bow range, but I can't do anything because all these twigs are in my way. At this point, I decided it's time to risk it for the biscuit. I knew I had to get to a more open spot and that meant moving to my right where my wind was going to be blowing more in the direction of the deer. 
but it was the only way that I could possibly get a shot. This maneuver was obviously pretty loud, but I was running out of time and it was now or never. So I knew with all the noise that I had just made that as soon as I popped my head over this ridge, there was probably gonna be deer looking in my direction and I would have to take a shot pretty quickly. Like I expected, that doe that was watching me earlier, she was standing off to my right and she was looking right at me, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to move from here. Luckily, that buck was preoccupied with a couple of does, and he was in range. So, I got his range and got ready to shoot. My shot looked great, but there was so many deer running away that I lost track of which one I was supposed to be watching. But I could see one standing there looking back at me, and it wasn't falling over, so I started to doubt myself. I went to check for blood, but I knew that there was no exit wound, and so the chances of finding blood were pretty low. And there was so many deer still around that I was trying to be stealthy and not blow them out that I kind of just forgot to turn on the camera. Nevertheless, I didn't find any blood, so I backed out and got a dog. Alright guys, so you guys probably just saw me shoot that buck. Um, I don't even know what the hell to think right now, but um, I couldn't find blood at the site, so figured I'd be safe. We got Bo right here. Say hi, Bo. Bo's excited. She's ready to go. He, he's ready he, to go. He. And then we got Trevor, um, and I'll put his uh, information down here. Uh, if you guys ever need a track and you're in Southwest Florida, this guy is apparently the guy. All right, let's go see what we can find. I was standing basically right here. Okay. and shot it right over here and it ran that way i dropped a pin approximately where i think i saw it last once we get close he'll he'll pick it up and we'll take off yeah it looks like all those deer moved off they were all standing back there fighting shit so it would have been somewhere around here where he was standing So it ran out that way. Out this way? Yeah. Straight to the edge of the... Toward that tree line. Oh, there's, there's some deer out there. See the eyes? Oh, yeah. I see the eyes showing there. They're better right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it might be a little further to the left. If he's, if he's on if you think he's on it. I honestly, I don't remember if it ran in front of this little scrape tree. 
or behind it. They all took off after you shot that one, right? Yeah. So he may, you see how excited he is? Yeah, so there's like tons of trails to follow. Yeah, so what he's doing is trying to figure out which one's which and which one's the bottom. That's what he's doing. That's probably what he's doing. I'm just trying to find some blood to start yeah. us off. I think he's just figuring it out all the different senses when we came back over here. I know, I'm just trying to find it for my sanity. Because eventually he's going to figure out which one will hit and which one will take off. I'm not really expecting to find much blood just because of the way it hit when no yeah. exit and stuff. So it's probably not going to start really leaking until later on. Oh yeah, that is blood. Yep, he's on it. Find them, Bobo. Where'd he go? Everywhere where he sniffed far down, at probably where there's like a speck of drop of blood. Okay. Right there. Yep, we're on it. Pretty good, Bobo. Got blood right here on the palm. Left side. Left side? Yeah. Yeah, there's blood right there. That was quick. Alright, we got a deer. <laughs> good job, baby. Nice, what is it, six point? Yeah, a little he's six a, point. He's a stud, six point. He's there a good go. six. I wouldn't say a stud, but he's a legal buck. No, he's good. And he is first buck of the season. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Good job, Bobo. Good job. Good job, Bobo. There you go. Great, Bobo. Here you go. Watch out. <laughs> oh, I think the arrows are not even in them still. So you get okay. it out somewhere. Or okay. inside of them still. Oh, so I... So I hit outside. I thought I hit on the inside. But... Sweet. I'm guessing the arrow's still stuck in him or he ripped well, it Well, it broke off at some point. Yeah. Because I remember seeing about a foot of it sticking out. I don't Hell want to yeah. get the or the gut. Dude, I'm freaking stoked. There it is. We got one tailgated. All right, let me uh let me get you paid. Um, do you take Zell or anything? Yeah, I take Zell. Here, right, cool. What's up everybody? Uh, I haven't had a chance to close out video yet it's uh the next morning i'm heading back to the wma to uh to bring them the head so that they can uh, take all their measurements and um and i can get my pin but uh but yeah what a crazy hunt i i really just i don't know how well you guys could see it because it was on my 360 gopro so that's all that i could do with uh, without a cameraman but i crossed that creek and there was like 20 something deer there um there was a bunch of does and there was bucks everywhere the bucks were chasing does around um it was it was like a deer party there was like little deer that were like dancing around in the puddle um and then that big the buck that i shot went over to check them out and um right before i shot him it was it was a wild scene for sure um but uh yeah he didn't go far he went um maybe 80 yards he actually didn't go as far as i thought i saw him go because what happened was there were so many deer running around that i was watching him run away and i guess he crashed and then a different deer sort of continued that was running with him and i thought that was him so um so yeah it, he actually didn't go that far I, I i smoked him pretty good you know i just wanted to say that like for you guys you guys just watch these videos and they're they're fun and entertaining but for us like th this experience is uh you know is super meaningful and especially because i was so sick like when uh you know when i, I got this hunt but this hunt is just one that i really enjoy i really like spot and stock hunting there's not a lot of places you can do it in florida and uh you know so but anyway i you know i pushed through i kept going um, finally at the end there started feeling better yesterday uh, still had diarrhea but I, was, I wasn't having a fever so I was able to get after it and, and get this buck um, and this is the first buck that I've shot spot and stalking with a bow so uh, yeah it just means a lot to me and uh, I really appreciate everybody that watches the channel and supports us it's uh, it's truly incredible 
and uh, just want to thank everybody that's uh, that's supporting us uh, on a higher level too. You know, our sponsors, Skull Hill Archery, um, and our our latest sponsor, Florida Camo, which is super exciting. Um, if you guys want to uh, uh, pick up some high pine camo, um, they just started the pre-sale, and uh, it's been it's been selling really well. And I mean, the new version of the camo that that Peter put together with our help is it just looks so good. I'm so excited for it. Um, and you know, I was rocking Florida camo this whole time. I was rocking the hammock pattern, um, and uh, John was rocking the palmetto pattern, and we had numerous bucks come right up to us and not see us so i mean that stuff really works uh so if you want to get some really good camo and most importantly about the florida camo stuff is it is so freaking comfortable it is designed for this hot weather and uh i've, I've never been more comfortable in hunting clothes than i was in that florida camo so uh if you want to get some use our coupon code it's all caps swamp and stomp and it'll get you free shipping on your order and I'm going to stop jibber-jabbering because you guys probably don't want to hear it anyway. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And, um, you know, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do it now. There's going to be plenty of stuff coming for the season. Yeah. Catch you in the next one.